Black History Month highlights the achievements of African Americans, but it also serves an, an, as an occasion for many to find out who they are, their ancestral home. To tell us more, let us turn to my colleague, Demiaki Mokalieli. Well, thank you so much, Vincent. Black History Month ends tomorrow. It serves as a reminder of the achievements and contributions of African Americans to the United States and is celebrated annually during the month of February. Now, the month is also a time for many to reflect back on their heritage and ancestry. This is not easy, of course, but to facilitate, the National Geographic has developed a modern scientific process that will help people trace their ancestral roots through DNA mapping technique. The Embassy of Guinea, together with Global Political Solutions and National Geographic, have teamed up to host an event tonight called The Ties That Bind Us Together as One Family. And to tell us more about this is Aaron Manego, Managing Partner, Global Political Solutions. Thank well, you so much for joining us well, today. Thank you so much for having me on the set with you today to talk about uh, what we think is a, uh, a real historic breakthrough in uh, helping African Americans mm -hmm. here in the United States reconnect with their ancestral lineage uh, in Africa and around the world. So to do this, tell us how exactly do they go about finding their linkage to the continent? Well, through the uh, Human Genome Project that uh, National Geographic has put together, mm -hmm. they've uh, developed these, uh, these kits uh, okay. that individuals can purchase, mm -hmm. as you see here before you. Okay. And the way the, uh, the kits actually work is um, each kit is uh, developed and designed uh, for one individual. Mm -hmm. uh, you get a, uh, a project uh, identification card, which identifies you as the person that participated in the test. Mm -hmm. And with a simple cheek swab uh, that's put into a uh, self-contained uh, container, mm -hmm. uh, brought, sent back to uh, National Ge Yes, these swabs here okay. that you see, okay. uh, sent back to the National Geographic in about four to six weeks. National Geographic can then do their, uh, through their uh, patented process, map and trace mm -hmm. all of your historic lineage and origins uh, around the world. For us, we're focusing on Africa for right now. So we want to look at our participants, see where uh, they're from in Africa, and then sometime in probably June, we'll reconvene with all of these individuals and then uh, disclose to them exactly where they're from in Africa, and then see if we can put together a process to get them to their actual city and town uh, where they're from in Africa. I mean, this could be a life-changing discovery because people get to know exactly where they're from, down to the village in some cases. Yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, this, this is the type of thing that, that helps bring closure uh, for many. To be able to actually tie and link yourself back to your, your country of origin. So you're not just saying in a, in a general sense that I'm from Africa. I actually now know where in Africa I'm from or where in Europe do I also have uh, blood ties and things of that nature. So it, it's, it's almost a, a cathartic process for, for a lot of people. I know it's something we as Africans who know where we come from take for granted. We hear that conversation all the time. Now, to just uh, kind of rubber stamp how important this is, tonight you're actually going to be taking the DNA of some very important officials within the U.S. Um, circle, uh, at least the African-American um, community. William Kip Ward, who is the former commander of the U.S. Command, Virginia Ali, co-founder of this prominent um, restaurant in Washington. Yeah, Ben's Chili Bowl. Ben's Chili Bowl, yeah. even uh, a former professional basketball player. Why are they coming forward and is there any significance to them wanting to have their DNA traced? Absolutely. Uh, the, these individuals all find that it's their personal responsibility mm -hmm. to know from which they come. You know, when you understand where you come, mm -hmm. you get a better sense of where you need to go. Right. So they all have that sense of responsibility. But above and beyond that, they think that they can serve as, as kind of role models for other African Americans, because if they can do this and take part in this kind of process to understand what the familial ties are between African Americans and their brothers and sisters back on the, uh, on the mother continent, mm -hmm. then other people might be so inclined to do the same thing. You mentioned earlier about the significance of taking this um, you know, DNA journey for closure. Is that to say that many don't feel they have it? until this process happens? Well, I, I certainly am in no position to speak for everyone, but I would say for myself and many of the people that I've had conversations with, you know, the, the vestiges of slavery left many African-Americans not 
having a, a rooted sense of, of self because a lot of these familial ties and, and familiarities were, were cut off during that process. Mm -hmm. Having the ability now in the 21st century to take a step-by-step a, 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 a -step, uh, process back mm -hmm. and, and retrace your roots, similar to what Alex Haley did. I can only imagine mm -hmm. if this was around when he went through the painstaking task of all of the research that he had to do at the Schomburg Library in New York and other places mm -hmm. and trying to find bits and pieces of paper where he could have simply had something like this kind of DNA mapping technology, mm -hmm. it would have got him to, I'm sure the journey was worth it because we had a, a wonderful novel and, and a television uh, program mm -hmm. and roots that, that he was able to share with a lot of us, but having this process okay. would have certainly simplified it. Well, thank you so much for coming to share that information with us. And I know it's an important point in Black History Month. Well, okay. thank you for having me. Thank you. Aaron Manego is the managing partner of Global Political Solutions, and he joined us here today on Africa 54.